If there are guys watching, they can either be big boys about this or they can just stop watching. Uh, so cold. That garage is not heated. It was so cold, I didn't even feel the pain <laughs> of the pull-ups. You like wanna like work out keep, so keep warm. Yeah, you gotta keep on moving. But actually you get used to it. Start to work up a sweat after like five or 10 minutes. <laughs> it's Monday. Oh, yeah. Oh, good morning. Supposed to make eye contact with you. Eden made this. It's called a Dutch baby. You just put, we just put like raspberry jam on it. One for me, one for you. I'm gonna show you guys what happened over the weekend. It was pretty exciting. Look at that. Oh, it is toasty in here. Saturday for Shabbat. We started the fire, which is really fun because it was pretty cold. And then when it came to nighttime, we weren't sure what to do. Saturday nights are always like confusing for us because I'd like to go see a movie, but there's like never good movies out. Sometimes we try and go to the bookstore. So what we ended up doing was going to the grocery store and we bought four boxes of our favorite cereal from when we were kids. <laughs> And we had never bought cold cereal like this for our kids. So I bought honeycombs and... Golden grams. Golden grams. And then I got Lucky Charms and Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And then at the grocery store, we bought the game of life, which is this game that Cammy had a fun experience one time when she was a child playing. Oh, it was probably a couple times. So I bought it and surprised her and was like, let's do it. And it was like pretty miserable. <laughs> it's a really dumb game. Yeah. yeah. Cammy and I skipped college the first time. Then we went to night school, paid a hundred grand for night school just for a 10K salary increase for 70K a year. We had three kids and actually we won though. You and I were on the same team. Oh, we did. But it was a fun thing to do together. Yeah. And I was glad we did it. And actually the thing that helped me buy the game, cause I was like, oh, I don't want to play this game. I was like, I don't want to play this game for the rest of my life. <laughs> so was it worth buying and keeping it in my house? But when I thought about it, it's 18 bucks. And if I thought about it, we're just gonna have one good night. Mm -hmm. Is that worth 18 bucks? Yeah, I give you There's a lot of things we'd pay 18 bucks for. Like we'd go to a movie and a movie would be like 50 bucks or 80 bucks. Right. So we played the game and then we burned it. That was really satisfying too. That was probably my favorite part of the game. <laughs> and then we had such a great time that the next night we decided to play another game. Pictionary. I hate playing board games with my family. Everything that's like nasty or like annoying comes out. Would you rather be on the Appalachian Trail in the snow without lunch or play Pictionary like last night with your kids? I still think I'd pick Pictionary just for the time ratio because it was only like two hours of miserableness versus like eight. Whoa, don't touch, that's hot. That's very hot. Look. Whoa, that burns fast. Yeah.
a little differently around here with temperature. It's starting to get pretty cold. And what we do when it gets cold is instead of making the whole house kind of warm, we make one room pretty warm. And then the rest of the house is kind of frigid right now. What does that say? Yep, you're reading that right. It's 56 degrees in here. That's pretty stinking cold. We actually turn on the heat eventually in the rest of the house. We only keep it at 61, I think, usually throughout the whole winter. I've come to really appreciate this practice I haven't always. I think I believed in it in theory for a long time, but, and so as you can imagine, Ben was the driving force of this. But now I actually see that the benefits of it outweigh the cost of it. Hey, Having a toddler or a baby sometimes can be challenging because I think, oh, what about them? Maybe they're cold. But actually he's pretty okay. He's probably more okay than me. <laughs> because <laughs> he's like running around like crazy. One of the main reasons we do this is so that our family actually ends up hanging out more. Because we have this room over here that gets pretty stinking toasty with our fire. See, we've got people hanging out in here already because they have to, otherwise they freeze Mama. their asses Mama. off. Hi! Ben's usually pretty good at making sure that started in the morning. And we've got our, our curtains here that keeps in the heat. If we want to kind of heat the rest of the house a little bit, we'll pull them back, but we usually keep them closed. So that's what life is like around here in the fall and the winter. Today I found out I am not pregnant, i.e. I got my period. I was kind of shying away from talking about my periods because in our culture it's like, ooh, don't talk about your period, especially if you know guys are going to be watching, but I just, I think if there are guys watching, they can either be big boys about this or they can just stop watching. But the other thing I forgot to say is my period was three days early, like a 28 day cycle is usually me three days early, and I think my last one was early too, by a few days, and it's kind of wigging me out. And I don't know if it's just because I'm older, um, maybe that's what my body's doing, but I'm like, come on, can I get a full 28 days here? This brings mixed emotions for me. I want another baby. I'm also, I think, pretty, happy and content with the kids we have. There's been seasons in my life uh, before where I haven't been and I've really pined over having another kid. I don't feel that way now, but would think it would be awesome if I got pregnant. If I got pregnant, it might mean we wouldn't be able to do the AT, which would be a pretty big bummer to me. I'm 37 years old. And it feels weird to share that I want another kid because I already have six kids and I'm like as old as I am. Most people in our culture, if they already have some kids and they're my age, they're like, yeah, I'm done. They do things to their body to make them done. And so it feels weird to, in our culture to like want to be in this place where I could have another baby. I think even there would be people who would think I'm being irresponsible to want another baby because I'm as old as I am. But I do, I want another kid. But I'm no longer naive to the fact of how hard that would be, especially getting older and on my body and all that but it's still worth it to me to have another one. So we'll see. Um, I really hope that we can do the AT and I also really hope to have another child.
Over the weekend, I set up a Facebook Fight for Together closed discussion group. And what this is for is for people that want to discuss Fight for Together topics or topics that come up in the vlog, like in a better format than YouTube comments, because YouTube comments like suck. The notifications, to me it's like impossible to have a conversation there. So this is a place for you guys to network with each other and really pick each other's brains and share your own stories. I haven't like accepted any people yet because I'm still putting like the finishing touches on working with the moderators, getting them selected and making sure that they're all cool with it. That's gonna be a huge help because this is not something that Cammie and I feel like we have time or energy for right now. We wanna help facilitate at least getting it started so I'm gonna put the link to it below. I hope it doesn't like cannibalize the YouTube comments. So like the comments are still cool, but then if you wanna discuss further, you should join the group. But right now, we have something really exciting. Hey, you guys wanna come on here? We got these two mystery packages in the mail. There's no clues on it except for this one is 1422 and that one is 1422. So it's probably the same thing. But Cami is already disappointed because she is determined that it's not cookies, probably. That's okay. It's close. Whoa. Thank you for all that you do. I felt led to send you some clothes my kids have outgrown. I hope you can find some use for them. Much love from Oklahoma, Kay Watson. Aw. That's cool. That's really cool. Here's a onesie. Whoa, look at this vest. This looks like Rainier clothing. This is like nice clothing. Wow. Whoever you are, thank you for the package. Yes, thank you very much. Dove and Eden are making biscuits and gravy from scratch with the homemade chicken sausage. I'm really excited, it's like my favorite. I'm like blown away by how nice these clothes are and how much money it took to send them and that she knew that she was size six and he was size two. That's awesome. Right Thanks here, again. you got some new clothes. Um, you can put it underneath, you know how the shelf is like very This last weekend, I guess it was yesterday, we were running and it was like our first crazy cold run. I was telling Cammy about how I was kind of yeah, just, just bummed out from last week's vlog. There was a vlog titled, I don't know what it was titled, but I, I was just- I think I failed. Yeah, I was just sharing about how hard it was to feel like I was vlogging and, and she was encouraging me and I think I kind of knew, like, I was being hard on myself. But I also know that I'm really bad at, like, the small picture story. Like, I see this huge, like, meta narrative, and I look at things from, like, this 30,000 view, and that's how I see life. And a lot of the things that are really helpful for people in terms of vlogging are the micro things. That's why people are asking, hey, we want recipes. What do you do for homeschool? Curriculum. Someone else recently sent in some suggestions about Financial Fridays and more practical things, and I'm like, whoa, like that would like never occur to me. Like those things don't occur to me. And Cami said, well, I can do those things. I actually don't think I'm great, but I'm better than you are. I think you're great. <laughs> I'm always telling her, whenever she picks up the camera, I'm like, you're such a good vlogger. And it's kind of a joke, but I actually mean it. Like the way she sees the world and the way she's able to bring people in at the camera, it feels a lot more natural to me. Like, I would enjoy watching you. Thank you. Naked. <laughs> we kind of agreed that that was gonna be more of a format and a tool that we use going forward, which is like a huge relief to me. I'm like, oh, I can just turn you loose. And I think we had like a miscommunication about how that was gonna happen, whether it's like I point you in a direction or whether you come up with your own ideas. Yeah. But regardless, that's like really helpful for what people wanna see and a way that we can offer. Well, it's two sides of the same coin. But I don't think about that naturally. I don't think to ask for help. The help was like right under my nose in a way, but I never really asked Cammy for that. 
I just felt like really overwhelmed and I felt like the vlog is kind of suffering in quality and there's this thing that needs to be done and I can't do it. Ooh, are we having a fireside chat right now? Oh yeah, this is a fireside chat. It's like super uncomfortable, but <laughs> it's worth it because the fire is in the back. It's warm though. And it's warm. So I think the vlogs are going to be improving and they have always, they've been improving, but this feels like a huge step to just say, man, I'd love for you to step up and for me to step back and I don't know what this is going to look like. I think in the past, vlogging has been pretty overwhelming for me. When Ben tells me or asks me to go vlog something, in the past that's been overwhelming for me. I don't think I feel as overwhelmed by it anymore. I think I feel more confident about it and just more free to say <laughs> whatever the hell I want to say. And I actually think that's going to be more helpful for people. Do you want people to put suggestions in the comments of stuff they want to hear you talk about? Sure. Yeah. You don't I, have to. No, it'd be interesting to know. What, All right. I may take them and I may not. But. So if you want Cami to talk about something practical with her super vlogger skills, put it in the comments below. Also yeah. in the comments or description is a link to the Facebook group. I think we're gonna end the vlog now because I feel like we have a ton of stuff for today and I don't want it to get crazy too long. All right. But we have dinner and we're gonna be doing our 12 step group in this nice cozy room. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's do a quick close up of the fire first.